One Valencia fan here. Welcome, guys. Hit that subscribe button if you're new, if you want to follow some Valencia content throughout the year. Opening day. It's a, I think it's a part of the season that we're all most excited. We have hope. You know, Valencia might go on to win their seventh La Liga. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe some more hope of the years than this year, but we're definitely excited nonetheless to get this season kicked off. We're opening with a tough opponent. Beatable, but tough opponent. You know, Getafe. Getafe, especially under Bordalas, was one of these clubs that was defensively sound. You might beat them 1-0, you might lose 1-0. There wasn't going to be a lot of goals in it. That's for most people. For some reason, when Valencia played this club last year, it was a goal fest. We lost 3-0, so maybe that was their defense shutting us down. And then we drew them 2-2 at home. So not the best performance between this club last year. We stole their manager, so hopefully he can, he can lead us to some brighter patches against them couple quick notes about this this upcoming match we're not going to have one of our best players Carlos Soler we're also going to have um, Yunus Musa missing with injury and then we're also expected to miss uh, Kangen Lee because um, he was also at the Olympics along with Soler congrats to Soler for taking home the silver with Spain um, but yeah we're going to be without those key players and it's going to be a real challenge for us Getafe is going to be missing uh, Curacela as well too former Barcelona product, uh, promising player. So we're both missing some players, but other than that, we should be good to go full tilt. I see this match going in a couple ways. Uh, the first way, well, first we'll start out with the lineups. You know, I think Valencia, this is probably the toughest lineup to predict because it's the first game of the year. We don't know exactly how they're going to play. I expect to see uh, Silicin in goal, but you never know. It could be Juan May as well, too. Left back, I think we're going to see Gaia. Our two center backs will be the new, uh, our only signing of the year, only big signing of the year. Uh, Alderate, uh, good Paraguayan defender. I think he's going to really impress a lot of people this year. Uh, our star young guy, Hiloman. And then Thierry Correa, Correa, depending on the pronunciation. In midfield, I think we're going to see at left mid, Guedes, Rasic, uh, Coandrede, Koba Coandrede, and Daniel Was. Up top, everyone's favorite Maxi Gomez coming off the off the miss in Copa America that made us made him and made uh, made uh, Valencia kind of the laughing stock of the world. But I'm expecting a big season out of Gomez, and then I think he'll be partnered up top with Vallejo. Ultimately, it's going to be a tough game, guys. Like I said, Getafe is really defensively strong, and I have a player to watch. The player to watch in this match is going to be JJ Macias. If you guys are from North America like myself, you'll probably be familiar with this guy. He's a promising uh, young Mexican striker. I didn't think he was going to make the jump this year. They tend to hold on to their players, but he did get a jump over to Getafe. I was honestly hopeful that, that uh, Valencia would pick him up, but we didn't do so. I think he could have a real good season. I'm not sure if he's going to I'm not sure if he's gonna play in this match, but watch for him to be a breakout star this season. And if he does play, he might put a goal in or two. Um, again, the defense, they're going to be they're gonna be tough here. I, they have uh, Dejene in as center back, and they have a lot of old guy, older guys here with a lot of experience. It's going to be tough. I'm predicting this as a 1-0 win for Valencia. I'm going to go with the hometown win. Um, if this was on the road, I'd probably go with a loss or a draw. But at home, at the Mastaya, I think we're going to start the season off really well, especially with the manager facing his old team. Hopefully he has some kind of insight into them that's going to be able to crack that defense. I think Maxi Gomez gets the goal in the 27th minute. I think the other team, I think that Katafe actually holds the majority of the possession in this game and looks a little bit better, but they're not able to score and break through, and we ultimately start the season with three points. Let me know what you guys think. I'll be back for a recap after the match. Have a great day, guys. Enjoy the game.